Hey, it's Reckless Retiree here, and I am going to conduct a little bit of an experiment, and that is whether the ash water, the hard wood ash water, in other words, a mild lye, will make some hydrogen. So here I put uh, this bottle, wine bottle is about half full of the lye solution, which I have right here. I just got that out of my hard ash, my hardwood ash water barrel. <laughs> and uh, I put a hat, I filled this up halfway with it. I got some aluminum foil and you can see it in there. And I uh, obviously put it in there part way. And uh, we'll see if there's any reaction whatsoever. Have a balloon on the top to catch whatever hydrogen it may make. So, it's probably not strong enough to make much hydrogen, but whatever hydrogen it makes in whatever time period is going to be caught by that balloon. Now, what I found before and this was actually done before with the lye that had been concentrated. In other words, the hardwood ash water that had been boiled down and concentrated more is what I used last time. And all, all it would do is fill the balloon up to a certain extent so it was stood up, but then it, wouldn't, it couldn't overcome the pressure the uh, of the uh, rubber the latex uh, elastic so i'm not saying i'm not thinking this will do any different it may do less but what i need to do is i have this stove right here i need to get a container that i can put on that stove with the lye water and boil it down concentrate like i did over the burn barrel uh with the uh, stainless steel pots so probably not going to do that today I may have a new place to work in the winter and if I if I do then I'll transpose that all over to there and we'll see how things go in that direction well it made some hydrogen the hardwood ash water that hasn't been concentrated, just mixed with water, is strong enough to react with the Luna foil and make some hydrogen, but not enough to overcome the pressure of the balloon. So I'm going to take this special rig, which is just a pouring spout for olive oil. And I'm going to put that in it tomorrow and hook a hose up to it, to the exercise ball, and see how much I can get if there's no back pressure. So there you go. Hey, it's Reckless Retiree here, and I just wanted to show you that this is uh, about 10 hours later, and you can see there's quite a fair amount of additional hydrogen <clears throat> in the balloon. And this is the hardwood ash water, I like to call it, which is a mild um, lye. And it's reacting to aluminum foil and it is making some, uh, some uh, hydrogen, excuse me. And <clears throat> I'm hoping, I mean, this is making me hope that I can just use it as is without concentrating it further. Because I really want a slower reaction. I've had a lot of problems with really fast reactions and uh, they tend to break the seals and leak the gas out and get super, super hot and, uh, you know, cause all kinds of problems, overflow and such. So this obviously is a much slower reaction and, uh, you know, if I have, this is just a, maybe a cup or two of the solution, as you can see in the uh, tea bottle behind it, with the ashes, fine ashes on the bottom there. <clears throat> so, uh, 
So, uh, if I had a 55-gallon, well, no, about half of a 55-gallon drum full, then you can imagine uh, the gas I would make uh, if I put adequate aluminum in there. So, this is, this is good news, and I'm going to uh, pursue this. And uh, I'm working on my lid, which will have the, uh, gives me the ability to seal it off the 55-gallon drum, uh, have the gas go down a particular hose into a bubbler, and also it uh, gives me the opportunity to raise and lower the basket of aluminum into or out of the lie, therefore turning on and turning off the process. So, good news. That's a pretty good sized uh, balloon, especially since these balloons are supposedly uh, of higher uh, strength than the previous average everyday balloons. So therefore, there's more tension working against the, the hydrogen uh, pressure. So therefore, there must be a adequate pressure to fill this up. So that's all good stuff. And uh, now what I got to do is get my lid on there, get the on-off uh, ability, and get this gas going into something to utilize the, uh, the capabilities of the hydrogen, such as running a generator or uh, causing catalytic converter to heat up and therefore act as a heater. Uh, these are th various tests I plan on doing. So stay tuned to the Reckless Retiring.